talk about the barbell bent over row. Now this is commonly used in any of our strength hypertrophy and sometimes strength endurance training. Uh, it's also something we do a lot with dumbbells. Now with this one, establish that grip just outside shoulder width. That way you can row it with those elbows kind of tickling the ribs. So you don't want to be too wide. You don't want to be too narrow. Just outside shoulder width. You'll establish that grip. Lift the bar up. You'll step back. Now to get into the correct position, you're going to want to hinge over, pushing the hips back. Think about an RDL. If I'm hinging over, my feet are just wider than shoulder width, I'm staying here. This is position I want you to stay in the whole time. My back is flat, almost parallel with the ground. My neck's in a neutral position, so I'm not looking up. There's no curvature in my spine at all. From here, I'll breathe in brace, I'll get a nice tight core, I'll pull my shoulder blades down and back, and I'll row right to the top of my belly button and control it back down. So notice how my elbows are going back, I'm getting that squeeze at the top. I'm not out here, okay? So I'm not rowing up to my chest or my neck. I'm rowing that barbell back just above my belly button. Getting that squeeze at the top and bringing it back down. One thing we commonly see with athletes, especially if we're doing uh, higher rep ranges, something like 12 to 15 reps, you start here in a really good, strong position. And as you start to fatigue, you get taller and taller. And you're just changing the movement completely more into like an upright row. So we want to make sure we stay in that hinge position the entire time. If you cannot maintain this position for all the reps, sit up, breathe and brace, get a nice tight core again, and then hinge back over and continue repping them out. Completely fine. As long as you're getting total volume in, that's what we want. That's our barbell bent over.